let me let me right now also send my condolences uh, to Gangsta Boo, his family, and those for those of y'all who aren't haven't been under the rock for the last 24 hours, then you would know that Gangsta Boo from the group Three Six Mafia um, is dead. And now they're suspecting uh, it's an overdose in the in her um, death. Artist whose real name is Lola Mitchell was aligned with the Memphis rap group. She was found dead at around 4 p.m. on Sunday. Sources say a fentanyl-laced substance is believed to be at play in death. She also put out multiple solo albums and collo co collaborated with a lot of notable names. Um, this is all new school, uh, pretty much. Drake, Ludacris, okay, Ludacris, Paul Wall, Two Chains, Be Real, Big Boy, uh, Drake. Um, and so, a lot of those, uh, they. Those anyway, they sent their condolences. Is what I'm trying to say, because a lot of them um, have worked with her, or they used her for sessions or whatever. Anyway, um, it's a shame, cause they reporting that um, man, she was on the porch. It appears to be drug related. Hmm. Oh boy, that's a shame. And my heart goes out to your family and friends because what 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 makes me angry and I hate to even bring these stories is because most of the time when we have when I say we, uh Adolf have people who have uh untimely deaths or young deaths you know the first thing we start doing is talking conspiracy crazy illuminati you know people do just die right and one thing i can assure you if you popping mollies taking percocets doing all that shit when we were coming up we used to drink the robitussin so the shit ain't nothing new but if you don't stop cocaine heroin uh, tar, whichever, whatever you doing, you gonna end up in prison, in a nut house, or you gonna end up dead. There's no other options for uh, substance abusers. And so now they getting to the point where somebody was, I heard somebody said they even lacing, your mar lacing marijuana with fentanyl. So that's a lot of us old school who still use the trees um, that don't like that CBD. We like the THC. We have to worry about are we going to be in, 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 um, indoctrinated with some damn fentanyl. This is serious. And it's supply and demand. And it's at the point where if you want street drugs, you just, if you can't grow it yourself out the ground, you don't need it. Put it in your body. And you better take every precaution you can and every resource you can to get off that shit. Ain't no sense in playing like I don't know what's going on. Or I don't know what time it is. I'm saying that to my young people. I'm just shouting out. I'm shout. 43 is a baby. That's a baby. And she dead. From drug use. Because everybody always said it ain't going to happen to me. Or they on the streets and somebody give them some street shit. That they can't get. Um, come back from. And I'm so sad about this. This is sick. This fentanyl. They said uh, Prince shit was laced with fentanyl. Ain't that a cancer damn medicine? 
It's like it's like propovol. This shit. This is disgusting and it's sad. Anyway, the musical artist initially began performing in the 1990s with members of the rap group such, uh, such as Paul and Juicy J, along with Lord Infamous, Crunchy Black, and Coops the Nicker. I don't know none of these rappers. I'm not a, I'm R&B all the way, every day. There's some rap I can tolerate, but I'm not familiar. I do know Paul Wall. I, you know, I heard a crunchy black and all these guys, but I'm not into their music, so I couldn't tell you what she sounds like, what she on. Uh, I know Outkast, Lil John, T.I., so I, it says she collaborated with all those artists. So in recent years, she has worked with artists such as Run The Jewels, uh, consisting of Killer Mike and E.I.P., she has maintained a strong presence of social media with more than two, two, uh, 266,000 followers on Instagram, posting as recently as Sunday on Instagram stories. Damn, sister. She never stopped. She never stopped with the biz. You know, um... Like I said, some of us were lucky enough to escape that. Some of us were lucky enough to get up out of that uh, drug culture. And I want to give, um, just uh, say, I thank God. Because but by the grace of God, I could be right there. So, you know, she's made her transition. And um, I know it was something she wasn't planning on doing. It wasn't up to her. I don't know what her personal life outside of music was. You know, and what besides drugs she was struggling with. I don't know how her financial situation was. But a lot of us that pursued music um, and it didn't work out the way we thought for whatever reason. Um, you know, a lot of us struggle. Hell, you heard Fantasia uh, talk about <laughs> the money is rough. And a lot of us just have to do what we got to do. Fortunately for me, I, I've just had a situation. I've just, I've just, God has, has, has just been good to me. He's been good to me. She has taken care of me when I couldn't take care of myself. So a lot of y'all that are out there living on this borrowed time using these substances i pray that you get off especially cocaine and when i see like people like my sister wendy who come from old school you know um i just be like yeah, you can't do that forever uh, dmx who when you start getting older you can't be shocking your heart and stuff up like that it's such a strong pull you know, so I commend anybody that ever had a struggle with it and who has overcome it and then say, but by the grace of God, there go I. But I know what God has bought me from. You know, her most recent post came three days back. She was pictured with her pal MJG in an image tag in the Orange Mound neighborhood of Memphis. She captioned MJG over my erratic behavior. Hashtag pressure. Yeah. Wow. Speaking with passion of the whites in 2012, she was asked what she would. Uh, most wanted people to remember her about her. I just want people to know that I, a really hard worker, I'm human just like everybody else. I write all my own music. I've helped other people come up with concepts. I've helped put a lot of people on, and I just want to be respected. 
When it's all said and done, I want to be remembered as Gangster Boo from 3-6 Mafia, the first lady of 3-6 Mafia, the first lady of crunk music, the first lady who brought platinum plaque back to Memphis, and the first lady who brought a gold plaque back to Memphis. I want to give a special shout out to uh, my special friends that I know from Memphis. Um, I had a very dear friend from Memphis. Um, so I kind of fell in love and adopted the city because of my relationship um, with them. Anyway, she continued, I'm the only female rapper in Tennessee that has ever did that and probably will, I will only be the only one that ever will. I just want to be known as someone that put her heart into her music and one who really, really appreciate her fans. And that's really good. Because if it wasn't for my fans, like I said, I definitely would still not be doing this. My fans are my motivation. I love my fans. Wow. Again. Gangsta rapper. Hmm. Gangsta boot. Rest in paradise, sister. You put your work in, and now pain is over. I'll see y'all in the next video.